Hi, this is Christina Hills from the Website Creation Workshop, and in this video I want to talk about the new feature of WordPress 5.1, which helps you understand your site's health. And I'm in the dashboard here, and under Screen Options, if you have PHP Update Required turned on, you will see this box here that's letting me know that WordPress has detected that the site is running on an insecure version of PHP. Uh, PHP is the programming language that is used to build WordPress and it is something that is installed at the hosting level. This is not something you can update inside WordPress. As you'll see in this account, this is one of my client's accounts, there are no updates. So WordPress is up to date, but the PHP software, the programming language, is not. So that is an issue at the web hosting level. So at the time of this recording, it is not displaying the version of PHP. So let me just show you how you can quickly with a plugin find it. There is a plugin called Display PHP Version, which is a little bit old, but I'm just going to turn it on, write it down, and then turn it back off again. So I'm going to come over to Plugins, Installed Plugins, and I'm going to click Add New, and I'm going to add, I'm going to type in Display PHP Version. So here it is, and notice while I'm here, with the new version of WordPress, with this new feature of Site Health, it is showing that there are other plugins that if I wanted to install, I couldn't because the PHP running this website is woefully out of date. But um, this can be fixed. So I'm taking it one step at a time. I'm clicking Install Now and then I'm clicking activate and once I activate it when I come to the dashboard home I will see down here that it is running PHP 5.2.17 okay so I'm just gonna write that down on a piece of paper and then I'm gonna come back to plugins installed plugins and I'm going to deactivate this plugin and delete it because I don't need it. I've got that written down. All right, so let's come back to the dashboard. Let's figure out a few things. So my PHP needs to be updated. So with PHP 5.2, which is very old, there's a good chance that this site has other problems as well. So I am going to show you how I installed PHP Compatibility Checker to run some diagnostics. So I had already installed that. I'll come over to Installed Plugins. And this is a free plugin. So PHP Compatibility Checker, I can come over to the scan area and I'd already run a scan and there's some other issues. Now some of these, if I toggle the details, uh, was too large so it didn't run properly. So you might want to write these down that some of these things might have some issues. They may or may not be a problem. At this point we're being a detective and we're collecting information. Um, this site, let's look at the themes. So this site is running a very old theme. So when you click on the theme details and you take a look at it, So I'm popping open this and I'm looking at it and boy this has a date of 2006. That is not so good. And also when I look at the site it has a very old dated look. But let's keep looking here at these links. I'm just trying to see what kind of information I can find. So this site is still up, so the owner who created this theme is still paying for the hosting, 
But look, it says it's designed for WordPress 2.6 and we're already at WordPress 5.1. So this is super duper old. You can see 2008. So that's over 10 years old. Uh, the other thing about this, if I go to wordpress.org and come to themes and type in vermilion, uh, this theme is gone, so it's not in the directory. So I am going to come over to plugins and run a theme check. So this is another plugin that I installed. Let me go show that to you. It's called theme check. So Theme Check is a plugin for developers to help them know if the theme they're developing is up to spec. But you can use it if you are a business owner to just check out your own themes and see if it's how well, see if it passed the tests. So let's come to Appearance. I've already activated and installed it and I'm going to come over to Theme Check. And I'm going to click, see it lets me check different themes. So I'm going to click check it. And it's got a bunch of errors. Okay, so that's not looking good. So at this point, I'm not going to read through all these errors. I just know, okay, there are errors. Let's see what it does when I run it on 2019. Okay, so it passed the test. So I just want to show you how you can check to see if it's if it passes the WordPress tests or not. So this theme did not pass the test and I'm not surprised because it is so old. It's 10 years old. It's been abandoned. So this site needs a new theme. All right, so what am I writing down in my notebook? I'm writing down that the PHP is out of date and I'm writing down that the theme is out of date. So a few things need to happen. The th I need this, this client needs to change their theme and this client needs to contact the hosting company to update PHP. So let's also look at the plugins. Now um, coming back over to that theme compatibility checker, looking at the scan that was run. So these might have some issues. So let's just, uh, let's come over to plugins, installed plugins, and let's try to add WordFence. WordFence is another great scanning tool that you can use. But you see, here it is, and there's this warning. So this warning, which is so wonderful, I'm so happy that the developers of WordPress are constantly making improvements so that non-techie business owners can have a better understanding of what's going on. It's showing that this plugin is not going to work with the current version of PHP. So I can't even run this scan. So I know my theme's outdated, I know my PHP's outdated, and that's probably the first place to start. But let's also look at the plugins. When I look here, this Backup Buddy is a paid plugin, but this may be an old version. So that's a premium plugin, I'll have to look into that. You can step through and you can look at the details if you want and see how long ago something was updated. Right, so this was updated 24 hours ago. So it's a good idea to, to check out your plugins every so often and see how long ago they were updated. And if you find something that's kind of old, like down here, let's view these details. Okay, this one was updated three years ago. So this needs to be deleted. So what you want to do initially is come in, write things down, make some notes, and come up with a plan of action. So 
I've got a theme that has to change, I've got to contact my hosting about the PHP, and I have to go through and check all of my plugins. This kind of checking that you want to do is a good idea to do on a regular basis and not neglect your site. So that's it. That is how you go through and start to make lists. I'm not going to fix it in this video. Right now I just want to show you how to gather information, write things down, and go through step by step and solve things one at a time. And it all starts with the new version of WordPress 5.1, which has this new feature of Site Health, which as you can read here is going to start showing you notices so that you won't be caught off guard, so that your site won't get hacked, and so you can keep everything current and up to date. And if contacting your hosting about the PHP version is too much for you, if you're working with a designer or developer, you can contact them. Or you can always hire out to someone else to help you get your PHP updated on your hosting account. It's not something you have to do yourself because it's not something you would do as a business owner on a regular basis. This is Christina Hills from the website Creation Workshop.